All right, our form looks like this now. And let's add another control. Let me copy this label and paste it and change the text to age. Notice you can change the text here or you can go down to the caption. And I'll change this label to LBL underscore age. And I will put a I will put a list box right next to this. And oops, sorry. I want to initialize that list box like we initialized this this combo box and a list box just displays a list so all I need to do I wanted to rename that sorry I want to re, I want to name this list box underscore age now I can do something like this list box underscore age is equal to one oh no no sorry age dot add item again I'm just adding an item to the list and you don't need to put it in parentheses you could just do this and if I run this you know here's my here's my list box um, I can also add another age so this is like year you know one year old then what if they're two years old or what if they're three years old right so if we run this again now we get a list and it has this little scrolling thing here but how do we populate how do we populate this from like one to a hundred well let's use a loop so let's do for i equal to one to 100 or 110 uh, let's say 150 um, next I and just do list box dot add item I and I should do I should be doing uh, option explicit to be safe so I have to declare this I dim I as integer and now what's going to happen? So I'm populating a list box with a number, with all the numbers between 1 and 150. That's what this does, this loop. So you can put a loop around this add item, and it will add whatever you're doing in the loop. So if I run it, let's see what happens. I get numbers from 1 all the way to 150. And I didn't have to write listbox.addItem 150 times. I just wrote a loop and it added them for me. Um, and let's see if we can set the initial value here by doing something like this. Listbox.age.value is equal to, I don't know, let's say 25. Just so that the first time it pops up, the listbox is sort of populated at a reasonable age. If I, you know, I don't expect one-year-olds to be using this. So now um, that's a list box. And I can add a column over here on my worksheet called age. And I could go back to my code. And when, oops, when this button's clicked, I just double click it. I'm going to put I'm going to put that on the worksheet. I'm going to put the age on the worksheet by doing x row comma 3 dot value equals list box age dot value. Very simple. And when I run this, you know, I put in a name, Mary, put in I feel tremendous and I'll select an age like 29, click enter data. And now I have my data here. I feel tremendous and the age is 29. So list box are pretty straightforward. Um, let's move on. In the next video, we'll go over radio buttons. 
and you'll see how, how we can put radio buttons on here.